if you are going for interview, fresher or experienced, watch this video very carefully. I don't want you to miss that chance due to one simple mistake. Most of the people do this mistake. Don't do that mistake. Pressure or experience doesn't matter. Don't do that mistake. What is that mistake? Many of my students committed that mistake. And that mistake happens naturally. We are programmed for that. And even we don't know that we are committing that mistake. Knowingly, unknowingly, we do that mistake and we lose that opportunity, that job which you really deserve. You have worked so hard for the interviews. You are technically very sound, you are focused, you are, you, you are determined, you are technically very good, but you make one simple glitch and that glitch most of the people make and that is what I'm going to tell you. That glitch is called as clinging mentality. Cling, we, we, want, we cling. Okay, let me explain you what I want. You become too needy too needy, and e e d y. What happens? When, of course, everyone wants a job. Everyone wants a better job, better package, better, 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 better cabin. But in the process, what happens? You go in the cabin, you're talking to the HR, and in the process, you want job so desperately that you become too needy. You keep on clinging. You are only ta talking about how can I get the job? How can I get the post? When I should join? What, what is the package? And you ag agree everything. For example, whatever the conditions are being put by the HR, you accept it. Yes, I accept this condition. This condition, yes, I accept it. This, oh yeah, I accept this condition also. Now, this gives, even it is difficult to accept, still you accept because you go with the mindset that, no, what? Whatever it takes, I want this job, I want it desperately. The company is brand, the package is so nice. Or for example, I'm a fresher, I want this job. Don't do that mistake. Follow the technique used by Aishman Kurana. I hope you know this guy. I remember, I don't know who was the director. Aishman was the actor. His first movie was released, it was a hit. And for the second movie, a very renowned director approached him very renowned. I, I don't remember, I was reading that interview. And the director commented that I approached this actor and he denied my film. You can write in the comments who is the director. I don't remember exactly. How come he can deny my film? He's just uh, one movie old. But today, look at Ayushman Khurana. He is busy, he is doing good. Now, what it means is don't be too needy and plead for a job. Don't do that mistake. Yes, you need it. But they will own if you show too neediness, if you show you want a job desperately, they will switch off. The HR will not like it. He will not like it. And he will, okay, fine. Because it's a human tendency. If you show neediness, people will avoid you. And it's true in everything, not only in HR, in relationships also, in friendships also. When you're selling anything, if you want to sell anything, if you show too neediness, and people will doubt why is he selling, why is he forcing. Same thing happens here when you go and talk to the HR. Definitely, this does not mean that be rude and I don't need a job, but don't Please. show that neediness. If you Please. feel like any condition is there which you can't accept, and which is very difficult for you, say that, sorry sir, I have problems, I can't accept your that condition. It's difficult for me to accept that condition. That raises your standard then the hr feels like oh so he values himself so he is not desperate he is not needy he is not pleading for the job then i must think because maybe definitely he is having some qualities that's the reason why he is so confident that's the reason why he is not needy like ayushman khurana friend we are working for our for our communication skills and for job and for interviews and all but your one mistake can spoil your career. Don't do that. Don't be needy. Don't plead because you also deserve it. You also deserve it. They are not doing a favor by offering you a job. They also need you. They also need you. The need should be from both the sides. Only then it works. I hope all of you understood the psychology behind interviews. You understand that. And it works in all walks of life. Apply that. Apply that. Have the self-respect. Have that self-respect. You will get a job. Work on your communication skills. Work on your technical skills. Be disciplined. They will offer a job. You don't need to plead. Next time, don't plead.
deserve the job, have the self-respect, and they will give you the job. And I'm there to work to help you for communication skills. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.